Now, away from that, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has accused foreign partners of hampering the prosecution of the former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Dezani Alice Madweke. The acting chairman of the anti-graft agency, Ibrahim Magu, while speaking in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, confirmed that EFCC would commence a prosecution this year. Correspondent Kule Uju completes the story. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Magu, was on an official visit to Ibadanzona office of the commission to inspect facilities on ground and assess performance of his men. He commended officials of the commission for sustaining the anti-corruption crusade with good results. Speaking on the prosecution of the former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Deziani Alice Madweke, Magu accused foreign partners of shielding her for unknown reason, stressing that her case is taking too long. He assured Nigerians that the commission will put in place all machinery to ensure that Madweke case is transferred to Nigeria for her to face the full wrath of the law. The, the, I'm telling you, they will bring her this year. We must get her. Because they have no reason to keep her. Why should you... They have not taken her to court. And this is five year. We are in the fifth year. Why should you be investigating one matter for five years? And it's a, it's a straightforward case. You know it's a financial crime investigation. It's not a murder case that is uh, that's really... Yeah, really very this uh, yeah, definitely definitely i don't know why they are protecting her release her let her come back to nigeria yes they are they are giving her protection yes for whatever reason and they are yet to disclose whatever offense she has done the chairman of the anti-graft commission found that what he called unusual protection being given to the former minister adding that if foreign collaborators lack credible evidence his commission will be ready to assist them. Ahead of the planned rerun election in Nigeria, Magu declared that Economic and Financial Crimes Commission will fight vigorously against foot buying. This week, Wednesday, you know the rerun election is coming up. All over the nation. All the outstanding elections will be concluded on the 25th. We are part of it. And we are going to fight against vote buying. Everybody is on our radar. So I want us to join us, I want you to join us on that day so that we can expose the vote buyers and collect their money. He commended the sterling qualities of the late sage Obafemi Awolo and Ladoke Akintola for their contribution to national development, calling on politicians in Nigeria to emulate them. From Ibadan, Kunle Ojo, Galaxy TV.